Hey guys, welcome back to another Cajun Toy Review. And today we're looking at the Marvel Legends Rintra Doctor Strange series Despair. And yeah, this is, we are on the comic book series figures from the Doctor Strange wave. Uh, all we have left is Despair and Sleepwalker. And I have been waiting to talk about these two, anticipating it. Yeah, I love the comic figures more than the MCU figures any day of the week. And uh, Sleepwalker is one of my top 10 Marvel characters. So, man, we are getting there. Uh, Despair is a figure. I don't know a whole lot about the guy a little bit. Uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, but he's a cool looking figure. So it is exciting to break this guy open and look at it. But first, let's look at the package. So, yeah, classic Marvel Legends. Very basic box. Black, red, nothing. No multiverse of madness since this is kind of like the little comic throwing figures for that wave. But, yeah, dope looking figure. And there we can see he comes with some extra hands and a big old hoof foot for our builder figure Rintra and um, looking at the side a crazy looking picture of despair that looks nuts I really like that art a lot looks really good nothing on the top same image repeats on this side on the back we got a little bit of read up for despair the embodiment of ultimate evil despair uses fear of others to strengthen himself wow that sounds pretty nuts so yeah this is another really, really great shot of him. This art is so good. Don't even want to throw this box away, man. This is some impressive art. Here is the other figures in a way. We have done all the MCU Multiverse of Madness figures, and we are on the spare. And then we just have Sleepwalker and our Builder figure. So stay tuned for those. UPC on the bottom if you want, if you need. Always in the shots at the end, guys. And that's enough about the box. Let's open it up and check out this figure. Okay, guys. So we have the spare here out of the box. And... This figure is pretty awesome, man. Like, he looks really sick. Very simple for the most part, uh, body-wise and paint. Uh, but sometimes, like I said, I said it before, a uh, little goes a long way, you know? Simplifying things sometimes, you know, a uh, little less is more. That's the best. That's what I was trying to say. You know what I was trying to say. But, yeah, less is more on this guy, and it really, really stands out. That white and that black. It kind of reminds me of, like, a kind of reverse Moon Knight in some ways. Uh, the armored version of him, but man, that cape looks sick. Uh, that head sculpt on him looks really awesome. Um, you know, kind of a smaller, not as known villain and stuff like that. But man, like they did some justice on this figure, man. He looks really sick, and it makes me want to read more comics and get a little bit more about the spare. Uh, this version of him, not the version from Cloak and Dagger, not that one. Um, I, I want if he comes to the MCU, I want him to look like this. Uh, I don't need these Ghost Rider style, very humanoid figures. But anyway, let's get him off the turntable, take a look at what he does come with, and take a look at our figure. All right, so the spare really doesn't come with much accessories, really just one, and it's kind of even the hard accessory to consider. Uh, but he comes with this cape, and you might be like, wait, what? But I call him this as an accessory because it came separate from the figure it's not on the figure when you get him you actually have to pop his head off and attach this really awesome cape uh this thing looks sick man with the texture inside look at that texture that looks really really awesome uh, let's see if we get some more light on there but yeah look at that texture and that looks so cool uh all those different holes in there looking like swiss trays uh, that just looks really fantastic the way it kind of comes down here uh, all tattered and raggedy uh, and the collar itself comes up pretty high popped up collar uh, and that is uneven as well but yeah you gotta take your despair and pop that head off and slide that cape on there and then get that nice click on there and there we go and see how that looks so good together uh, yeah, love it. And he comes with two sets of hands, uh, fisted hands. Nothing new or surprising there. Uh, when you want to get your demon punches going on, you got these big old nice white painted fist. Uh, they're gloved. No fingers or anything on de fingernails or any kind of detail like that. Just white gloved demon punching hands. But they are hinged, so that is cool. And then we got these kind of open. Oh, I'm coming for you. Grab you in your sleep. Uh, fingers are evil fingers touching together hands but yeah I think he looks really good with these uh, and again you just pour it in whichever ones you like and they look fantastic with the white coming down his wrist kind of with that white flamey look and yeah I mean look at that that looks really good so 
that's really it for the accessories. I mean, besides the builder figure piece, we'll talk about that when we do the builder figure. Uh, let's talk about the figure a little bit. So, uh, like I said, less is more with this guy. Very plain body. Uh, looking like this and without the cape, it's just the Spider-Man body uh, repainted. So I think modders will probably really love this figure because uh, we had to do a lot of stuff with this because without having to do a crazy amount of uh, modification, they kind of get rolling with it. But yeah, uh, so it is very poseable since we are using that kind of body, but uh, the cape, as awesome as it is, does hinder some of that the butterfly joint. In the elbows, I mean, the shoulders is hindered a bit by that cape. Uh, so yeah, you get what you get. But uh, let's start with the head. Look at this sculpt on this. This is a new head, of course, and looking sick. Love that kind of like pulled together mouth, uh, like some melted cheese or something going on there with the recessed red eyes, uh, that skull nose. This dude looks awesome. Uh, really, really creepy looking, and. Uh, Man, it just goes so great together with that white and that black. It just really makes this figure stand out. Looking awesome, man. Like, when I saw the previews of this figure, didn't know a whole, whole lot about them. But just that profile, man. That look. That white, that black on white look and stuff like that. Just, man, it really made me interested in him uh, big time. And having him in hand, I think he's pretty damn awesome. I'm super excited about Sleepwalker. But anyway, uh, <laughs> this guy is good man he uh he's definitely up there with one of my favorites in a wave we'll kind of talk about all of them when we're done and pick my favorite uh but this is a contender man uh i wish he would have came with some kind of effect or whatever now in the comics like i said i'm not super big on him uh he is a demon and uh he uses like despair wow okay and fear to kind of manipulate uh control people's minds and he feeds off of that uh basically a little bit of what we read on the box and um, he was also the villain in season two of the live action cloak and, and dagger series uh, but he was just like a human male uh, that sounded weird uh, uh, he was just a human um, and yeah it didn't look anything like this uh, kind of like we saw with, like I said with Ghost Rider with like Black Heart and stuff like that where they were just like regular looking people and nobody wants that so uh, yeah hopefully we see this guy maybe pop up in the multiverse of madness or something like that that would be pretty cool to see um continuing looking at him like i said the body is basically pretty much just black painted uh no detail on the legs but we do have these really cool flame or torn kind of effects on his arms going up uh, and along with the gloves that looks really really awesome a uh, really cool look on him as well with that but that's about it for paint man uh you just got that white kind of coming down on the side and that profile looking crazy uh for articulation let's take a look the spare can look up pretty good down actually you got a nice down i was man, surprised about that uh full rotation nope blocked by the cape and the collar arm rotation nope blocked by the cape uh so yeah bicep swivel double jointed elbow Get your demon scratches going on there. Wrist rotation and flex. App crunch. Oh, look at that. Demon form for some change. Ab crunch back. We get about a little bit about that much. Waist rotation. Demon splits. Thigh cut. Double jointed demon knees. No boot cut. Well, actually, I lie. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. There is a, a boot cut right there, and there's no boots. This is just demon flesh twisting around like Reagan. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, he's got some. These are shoes, I guess, because they're not. There's no toes there, so these are some kind of really nice shoes, I guess. It's a little interesting. Uh, so is he wearing tights? What's going on here? I'm confused. Uh, but there's peg holes in the bottom of whatever these are. And, uh, yeah, demons don't have toes. What are we talking about? Sorry, guys. I'm getting confused. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, there's not a whole lot to say about this guy. I think he looks cool. I think he is really uh, a fun character to kind of mess around with. He's going to be cool to take some pictures with. Uh, but, man, that's really all I can say about it. I recommend it. I wish he came with more accessories. Uh, he doesn't, but 
you know i do think he's a really cool uh looking figure so let me know in the comments what you think are you picking this guy up and uh if there's a really good storyline with him or something like that put it in the comments as well i'd probably go read it and want to check it out so thanks in advance for that but anyway sleepwalker is next i'm gonna wrap up this wave and talk about one of my favorite marvel characters man i've been anticipating this figure for a while so oh boy oh boy he's coming so yeah join me for that please and uh like i said if you like this video please leave a like check out other content consider subscribing you can find us on facebook instagram and tiktok just search for cajun toy review and as always guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video take care of yourself